one challenge that is facing humanity, it is living lives of restlessness. We run from here to there, from pillar to post. We are trying to make ends meet and we are struggling. We are failing. Like a little boy that I saw the other day who was walking with his parents and the father was walking so fast. I don't know where they were rushing to. And the little boy was trying to keep up carrying his bag on his back until he failed through his back, he back down and said to the father, I can't keep up. The fact, my dear friends, is that we are failing to keep up. And God knew that we will need some rest, my dear brothers and sisters. And the Bible says when God created heaven and earth, when he had finished creating heaven and earth, in, on the seventh day, God rested on that day. And he gave that day a, as a blessing to humanity, saying, on this day you should cease from all work and rest. I am saying to you, my dear friends, in the red rest of life, in this life where we are struggling to make ends meet, there is a God who saw how much we will need to rest. We will need to rest physically knowing that we need to take a nap. We need to rest. Then we will rest as well spiritually knowing that we are resting in the finished work of God. My dear brothers and sisters, God gave us a Sabbath as a blessing. He did not give it to the Jews because he gave it to Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were not Jews. He gave them the Sabbath as a day of rest, as a gift that on this day cease from all work and enjoy fellowship with me. And God further wrote the Sabbath as a command in, 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 in within the Ten Commandments and instructed even the Jews, not only the Jews, but for the whole of humanity, that this is a special day. It comes to you as a command, but it is a gift that you need to rest from your labors and enjoy fellowship with God and enjoy being in the presence of God and contemplate to the works of God who loves us so much, my dear brothers and sisters. I know there are some who say, I want to read a verse in Hebrews chapter 9. There are some who say, yes, we hear you, preacher men, but the Sabbath was for the Old Testament. It was for the Old Covenant. In the New Covenant, we don't have the Sabbath. In any day can be the Sabbath. In the New Covenant, any day can be the Sabbath. The Lord's Day, the day when the Lord resurrected, some say, is the Lord's Day. It is the Sabbath. But I want to read uh, Hebrews chapter 9 verse 16 and 17. Hear what the Apostle Paul says. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the test tester. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise it is of no strength at all while the test tester lives. Paul says if you are making a covenant, you 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 you, you start down all the conditions of the covenant and then you seal the covenant through the blood. The Old Testament, Moses spoke to them what God had instructed and then when they had agreed the Bible says Moses had to kill some ox so that the blood of the ox will seal the Old Covenant. But listen to me my dear friends, when Jesus comes to earth, some say after Jesus died his death brought in a new covenant and we no longer need to keep the Sabbath. But let me tell you something. I want to reason from this point. Jesus ate the Lord's Supper with his disciples prior before he died and he said this, the Lord's Supper will be a service that reminds them of his death. It's like celebrating an anniversary before the wedding. Before he dies, he celebrates a service that will commemorate his death. Why? Because he knew that if he is to include the, the, the Lord's Supper in the New Covenant, then it must be done before he seals the covenant with his blood. Let me tell you, my dear friends, Jesus did not ordain any day before he died as a substitute for the Sabbath. He still kept the Sabbath himself and the covenant was sealed when he died. In other words, there is no change in the New Covenant that you may bring if Jesus did not bring it before he died. Because when he died, you are selling the terms of the new covenant. That's why the 
the, the, the Lord's Supper had to be done even before he died. So I am saying to you, the Sabbath is still a day of rest. It is still a blessing to humanity. That's why John says in Revelation 14 that uh, blessed are those who keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. May you enjoy the gift that God gave to humanity of resting in the goodness of the Lord. May the Lord bless you.